We're checking out Uncle Buck, 1989. I'm really excited. Uncle Buck. I like his piano. Hoping for some good 80s music. Just watched Ferris Bueller. Friggin' loved it. Watched Breakfast Club, loved it. Is that the Home Alone kid? He's so young! Is this before Home Alone? <gasps> Six gonna chase with his bike. He will me with the shoe. You can Aww. thank your parents for that. They're a brilliant idea to move here. Grumbly teenager. Got it. And two cuties. All right. Your book bag doesn't go on the floor. Oh, let's have a cow. <sighs> your nails are digging to my ear. I'm an American. I have rights. I've got Sister better things babysitter. to do than babysit you, you little stain. Stain! When our mother figure isn't here, I'm in charge. I don't know why we need boys at all. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up yourself! Oh my God, she's so cute. Let the dog out. Yes, a dog. Let's go. <gasps> oh my god. Hiding in the dryer. I love them. Are they eating with chopsticks like this? Oh my god, it's so cute. Mm. Did you win <laughs> hockey yesterday? I got to get over for two weeks. I'm going to take a week off work. Oh, really? Oh my god. Stare down. Oh, Sullivan's public house. There's our man. All right, all right, all right. This is what I'm here for. <laughs> John Candy. Him. How did John Candy get famous? Was he on SNL or something? Or what was his first big movie? I'm really not that excited about going to work for my girlfriend. Okay, okay. I would just like to hear the pitter patter of tiny feet. I'll get you a mouse and a piece of sheet metal. <laughs> That's not it. I said I'd be at work in the morning. I'll be there. I... Something tells me they're going to break up. You're going to show up for work, you swear to God, in the AM. If I could think of an excuse that you would buy, I'd use it. <laughs> Locusts. Your dad had a heart attack. Oh. Who's gonna watch the kids? Did he die? What about the uh, Nevilles? Would you call him? John Candy gonna come babysit and they'll learn to love children? What about Buck? Now, I'm sure he'd be glad to help out. Your brother, I don't want him here. He's a little out there, but he's responsible. <sighs> Horse racing, mm. the gambling. Can you see him in this house? Oh, he's a gambler, I see. Call the Nevilles. No, call Buck. Are we going to Indianapolis? I love my father. So why did you move away from him? Yeah, what happened? She's so mad. If my whole family moved away from me, I'd have a heart attack too. Harsh. You don't like the Nevilles? The dog's a ball sniffer. Don't use that word. <laughs> I know another word. Don't say balls. They're in Florida. It's gotta be Buck. Who's gonna work for balls? Get in bed. That kid's got Nuts. genius comedic timing. Nuts. Can we trust him? Oh, sure. This is Bob. Bob who? Uh, Bob, your brother. It's your brother? <laughs> Real sorry about those bushes. I had no idea that they would all catch on fire. <laughs> Cindy's father had a heart attack. Well, we have a problem with the kids. If you're not doing anything... Don't worry about it. I'll, uh, I'll pack a few things. I'm on my way. He was uh, asleep at this hour. Uh, that's a good sign. We're all set. Not too drunk. They both look so worried. Oh, boy. Okay. You can do it. Hello. Honey, I have some bad news. You, won't you be are not coming into work. Actually, yeah, he said he would take any excuse. No wonder he said yes. <laughs> would you just... <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Brilliant! I haven't seen those kids in a while. It's like a pimp. Tia's gotta be nine. The two new ones, they're, uh... The new one's nine? She's like 16. Larry and, uh... It's not Larry, I bet. Betsy. Jennifer. Jennifer. hey -o. C80s. There's always a Jennifer. <coughs> and he came very quickly. Is he at the right house? Um, this isn't funny. Come on! Is he across oh, the street? <laughs> Yo, Bobby! Idiot. Buck? Buck! Bob! Over here! <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's a nice what? neighborhood. Keep it down! What? <laughs> I stopped smoking cigarettes. Oh, good. Mm. I'm on to cigars, then I go to uh. chewing tobacco, then I'm on to that nicotine gum. Sounds like a win. Uh, money. No, please, I I've got lots of money. No. 
Does she have one? I, I won't have any problem cashing a second party out of state paycheck, will I? Just leave him some money for food. Let me just leave you the checks. Yeah. Well, only if it's comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a plunger here for the morning, you know? Just, just wants to know how to unclog the toilet preemptively. I've been eating a lot of cheese for some reason. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I feel like a big mouse. You and me both, buddy. First question, do you have a plunger? Really appreciate Thanks. it. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. You can do it. Drive safe. Okay, okay. all right. You can do it, buddy. We believe in you. I want to be oh, That's for sure. Can you play? Please don't break it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. Not good. It's 7.02 in the air. All right, Grumpy. Give me, give me, give me, give me. He's a bass. So grumpy. Sullen teenager. The Uncle Buck. <laughs> Coffee drinker, huh? Is she just gonna ignore him? Hungry? Everybody loves breakfast. Yes. Breakfast, the most important meal of the day. And my favorite. So, where are the other ones? The, uh, the other kids. Miles and Maisie. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Who are you? I'm your Uncle Buck. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Hey, where's your... Uh... Her name Maisie. is Maisie. Maisie, you must be hungry. Oh, my God. You put <laughs> onions in the eggs. I'll fix you some cereal when I get back. Idiot. Hates them. Wait, she hates everyone, it seems like. Mom's not here. She is, too. She and Dad went to Indianapolis. They did? Yes. <laughs> do you have a house? Apartment. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. <laughs> Where's your wife? Don't have one. How come? It's a long story. <laughs> What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 38. You have much more hair than you know, so my dad. I'm nice I of you to notice. Kid. I'm a kid. That's my job. That kid is amazing. No wonder they gave him his own movie. <laughs> All right. Bow, 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 bow. Look at this jalopy. Uh, 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 uh. They'll be embarrassed. I'll get a ride with friends. Stand me up today. I'll drive you to school in my robe and pajamas. <laughs> I believe he would. Did you ever have anyone embarrass you like this? No. <laughs> you think she hates me? With a passion. <laughs> yeah. You think it's the hat? No. It angers a lot of people just the sight of it. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen, Buck. Oh, is this his girlfriend? <laughs> She's breaking up. What are you talking about, hon? What do we talk about? Me playing the father. You sure as hell can't do it for me. Now, unless you tell me different, I'm going to offer the job to somebody else. You give me a week to think about it, and, uh, you know, we'll see where we are at that point. So noncommittal. Well, I have to go now. Bye-bye, hon. <laughs> Does he even know that she's upset? <laughs> hey, eight more. Get the fuck out of here. Captivates Manhattan. Look at that dog. I want to snuggle him. Look at his nose with his belly up. Oh my god. He's a good boy. Was he there at their wedding? Did they cut him out? Did they fold him out of it? That's so rude. Why? What did he do? That is so rude. I mean, I guess I suppose it's their photo. They could do whatever they want, but. <laughs> you ever hear of a tuna? <laughs> you ever hear of a ritual killing? <laughs> you know on her face in public like that again and you'll be one. Oh, oh. Oh, look at the smoke. The guy's a predator and you're his prey. Stay out of my personal life. Do your parents stay out of your personal life? They don't know my personal life. Do their parents just have no time for these kids? His name is Bug. What's his last name? Spray? <laughs> you should talk, Buck. I feel like they're gonna bond at some point, I hope. Uh, but over what? Look at this kid. Home alone in the making. Just stealing the movie. What? Don't look at me like that. She's Don't. so sweet. What if we get one of your dolls and put your dad's pajamas on him? No. What does she want? <sighs> oh. It's in the books. Did somebody get that? <laughs> He's busy. Why don't you do everything around here? So precocious. Hi, sweetie, how are you? Uncle Buck's got me busting my hump. At least I'm learning a trade. 
<laughs> Grandpa's feeling a little bit better. Can you get Uncle Buck? Will do, Chicky. <laughs> so sweet. Next time you take off, why don't you hire a murderer? Why don't you just go your way and let him go his? The guy took off today and left Miles and Maisie alone. She's lying. Did you uh, brush your teeth? You know, I have a friend who works at the crime lab. I could <laughs> give him your toothbrush and he could run a test. Mm-hmm. We're gonna really have to start brushing our teeth. Hi, how are you? You got an interesting set of uh, plates in the, in the living room. <laughs> are they valuable? Where would you find something like that in an antique shop? <laughs> in England. How many times a day do you feed a dog? How many times a day do you think he eats? Four or five. He eats once. <laughs> Fed him five times. What, what does he like to drink? Uh, I've been leaving the, the toilet seats up. Is that what the blue water is? It's not good for him, huh? Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Nothing God. happens to this dog. That, that might account for something. Coloration out on the grass. Oh, oh, Lord. What makes me feel very scared to know that you're there? <laughs> Did she say very scared? Thank you very much. <laughs> I think she said reassured, but she was scared. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Is the dog gonna lay on him? Oh my god, cute. Yeah. He just wanna lay by him. This is sweet. <laughs> Alright, everybody back up. <sighs> Can he handle the laundry? So who's this? She just like a local busybody? Hello? Get ready, here I come. What do I have to talk dirty to you? Here we go. <laughs> come on, it's nice and easy. Open up! I'm gonna shove my load into you whether you like it or not. Oh my god. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Who are you? Cindy! Her father had a heart attack. Oh yeah? Who are you talking dirty to? A washing machine. I was kicking it and swearing at it, you know. <laughs> As you do. And you thought that... <laughs> yeah, she thought he was humping it. <laughs> I live across the street, Marcy Dahlgren Frost. Oh, Lord. I'm single again, but I never bothered to lose the frost. And I get compliments on the hyphen. <laughs> compliments on the hyphen. Since she's not here, do you have plans? Yeah, I got a lot of things. <laughs> Rain check? She's into him. I'm only gonna be here a couple days. My father's heart attack, I was out of town for three weeks. Not gonna be three weeks, is it? Waiting for your sex? <laughs> what did you blow all that makeup for? We're just going bowling. The guy I'm bowling. not going bowling. It's virtually impossible to get pregnant while doing it. <laughs> disgusting. Virtually impossible. How'd you like to spend the next several nights wondering if your bum uncle will shave your head while you sleep? <laughs> yeah, give her the crazy eyes. Just shave your head. All right, we're going bowling. Box, That's a fancy ball. You must have packed that. Is Perry Coleman? Does he have a shiner? Don't hit on a girl while you have a black eye. How you doing? Buy a beer? <laughs> on the finger. You look firm. Ew. <laughs> Me bowling. The object of the game were to get the ball as close to the pin. You would be champion of the world. I got a cure for that. Punch him. Fuck. Move it! Go on, get out! Scram! Where the hell you been? Hey, 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 hey. Alright, he's a big time bowler. This is his whole crowd. Tia, this is Raj. Raj Tia. Come on, it ain't gonna bite. Eh, she's grumpy. Is Shanice here? No, I'm kinda flying solo. I gotta talk business, I can't find you. Why don't we step in my office? Why does she look like she's just like, I'm gonna get you now? <laughs> Jimmy Bean called. He says it's a boat race. Very easy money. Gambling. Show up an hour before post time and he'll give us the tip. With this score, your whole year is covered. It's a sure thing, man. Don't do it. Maybe I can make it work. Thanks, Raj. Watch the sternal, will you? <laughs> What's a Shanice? Are you supposed to marry her or something? The subject has come up, yes. I don't think Shanice is gonna marry him now. Maybe if Maybe. you got married, you'd stop being such an asshole. I wonder what would make her stop being an asshole. Oh, what is he making? This a pancake? A cookie? Pizza? Into my mind. It's, it's a pancake. It's a pancake. Oh. oh, frig, I would eat that. Yes. 
Someone's crap all over the stairs. This piano! <laughs> Happy birthday! I hope you're hungry. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing! I want that on my birthday. What is this? Oh god. I don't like clowns. Even as a kid, I did not like clowns. I found them sad and creepy. Uh, and yeah, uh, drunk. Put it there. We are high. Oh. <laughs> he likes clowns. I was at this all night bachelorette party. I wouldn't be drinking if I was going to entertain some kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Get in your mouse. Nice. Sack of sh Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clocked him twice. Yes. Creepy clown. Suck it, creepy clown. Bam, 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 bam. Cool Let's base. Go to the car, huh? Not now. It's fine. It's not fine. I just don't feel right yet. You ever gonna feel right? Don't pressure her, man. Maybe Buck's gonna save her from this douchey guy. We're going to pick up Tia. Since when do cheerleaders live in the woods? Come on, I'll take you home now. I don't believe him. I'm okay. Sure. Jesus. Busted. I said I would be home at 10. Just thought you'd like to join us for some ice cream. We can talk about Barry and the Hatchet. Some axe? I got one in the car if you'd like to see it. <laughs> a pass. I like to carry it, you know. Yeah, intimidate him. For example, someone's been uh, drinking and about to drive a loved one. Then I like to know I have it. <laughs> Just a maim. You got both kneecaps? <laughs> Why I've been known to circumcise a gnat. <laughs> I love his little giggle in between this. <laughs> Bug? Nat. Is there a little similarity? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be right back. With my hatchet. Creepy. <laughs> that giggle. I think you'd better split. Likeable and intimidating. He's all talk. Here it is. <laughs> Come on, I want to show it to you. <laughs> Maybe later. Thought so. I'll get him back. That's a pretty stupid thing to do during flu season. <laughs> now scram. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I want to walk around to this music. And smoking in there too. Yeah, I don't know. Are you, even in the 80s, could you smoke in a school? Probably not. Get out of there, man. So small! Next! <laughs> I'll cover for you. Alright? Oh my god. So cute. Yes, what is he doing here? I'm Anita Horgar. <laughs> Buck melanoma. Molly Russell's ward. <laughs> Molly melanoma. Oh god. It's like Austin Powers. I'm the ward. <laughs> She's my tumor. Well, I'm Uncle Wart. That's what they call me. Or, uh... Was Austin Powers parodying this? Melanoma head's coming. Oh my god. Gold tumor. <laughs> Her mother uh, set up this conference with you. I've been an educator. Molly, Molly, Molly. I see a bad egg. She is a twiddler. Silly heart. The little one or the... I don't think she takes a thing as a student seriously. She's only six. Yeah, she's just tiny. I don't think I want to know a six-year-old who isn't a dreamer who takes Agreed. their student career seriously. Does anyone have a special story to tell a class? Maisie. My uncle was microwaving my socks. <laughs> Honest. Can't get the good washing machine to work. Blasphemer! <laughs> They're all good kids. You so much as scowl at my niece. I'm coming looking for you. Yeah, look out, lady. Take this quarter. And have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. <laughs> <laughs> Second up for the kids. Yes. Molly, Molly, Molly. Next. All right. He's cool. Look, I'm just calling to say I uh, miss you. I miss you. Hey, good move. Think about those two little dimples on your buns. Uh. <laughs> buns. <laughs> right was Lyndon and the left was Johnson. <laughs> no, that was your boobs. And Felix. Felix is what we called your. Oh, Felix the cat. I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Get out That's my cat's trying to go outside. We don't have a cat! <laughs> Come on, get out! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Open up! The giggles! 
May I please speak to Buck Russell? Janice Kowalowski. Uh-oh. Don't ruin it. He's not here right now. He went out with Marcy. You sh- they usually stay out pretty late. You little sh- she is the worst. What is with this kid? Actually, I don't know what she's been through, but she's pissing me off. <laughs> hey, that's pretty smart. Nah, that I don't know about, but better than nothing, I guess. Is there a big sexy guy? Hi. God, what are you doing? <laughs> right? Washing machine's still broken. You need a little adult supervision. Excuse me? Oh, uh-oh. Shanice, it's not what it looks like. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Shanice, no! What's this? What is this? Come on, the dog is watching. Oh, that was bound to happen. <laughs> I'm beating like a rabbit here. <laughs> cut it, cut it. Oh, crap. Is this who you were out with last night? I didn't go out last night. She thinks he's lying. Hey, come here. Better go Jeez. after her. I love you. I don't know. I don't know if he can get her back after that. Well, what blew up her nose? Shut it, Marcy. Go home, okay, Marcy. I'll just go home and wait for the Federal Express man. <laughs> she is desperate. Are they going to have words? I want to go out tomorrow night. I'm not letting you out. Who are you trying to score points with? Get used on your parents' time. She could just say it with her. Have a bad day today? It hurts when someone screws with your life, doesn't it? I kind of want him to get back at her, but also she's just a teenager. Look at this dog. That's the life. Feet up in front of the fire with a beer and a dog. People used to say to me, Boy, Buck, you are one lucky son of a... Look, you don't have any kids, you don't have any wife, you don't have a boss to worry about. <laughs> I had a mate. But now... It'll all be better tomorrow. Go to the track. Oh yeah, right. Some serious dude. I don't think he will. You tell UB when he gets home that he lost, okay? UB, Uncle Buck. I'll see you guys Sunday. She going away for the weekend? <laughs> right on cue. UB's home. Tia. I love that they're calling him UB. You guys seen Tia? You took a breeze, UB. Took a breeze. And she promised me she was going to look after you guys this evening? Does anyone in this house know how to keep a promise? Well, I know you two guys do, I know. This is how I make my living. Don't bring the kids to the track. I, I, I have to take you with me tonight. To a racetrack. Oh boy. It's not a good idea. Although, I went to the track as a kid. But she said she was going to a party. She'd be back Sunday. Go to a party all weekend? Let her go to a party all weekend. No, not on my watch. What? Is he gonna go get Tia instead of going to the track? <laughs> that kid. Yeah, Kobolowski tires. I got a problem at the house. I need somebody to watch the kids. And you need to get to the track. That's probably fair, but I don't think that's what he's gonna do. Tia took off on me. And I need to find her. Can you help me? She'll do it. All right, all right. But as far as you and I are concerned, it is over. Ah, he'll win her back. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. And I love you. <laughs> Whoa. I'm supposed to come over and watch you? May I see your driver's license, ma'am? He's so cute. That's fair, kid. Good for you. Just sitting by the door with Can snacks. Please take it out of there. He runs a tight ship. Hey, nice music. All right, pal. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to do this. Just relax. No, no you don't. Bust in there, dude. I'm gonna kick somebody's ass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not her, but either way, you should put a stop to this. <laughs> oh boy! All right. See ya. Have a heart to heart now. You are right. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get you home. You know what happened? Yeah. 
Are you gonna tell my parents about everything that's been going on? No. Did that dude assault her? You know, there's uh, one family charity case that uh, loves you very much. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Glad I got a chance to know you again. Did you do anything to bug? Did he? I can't stop a kid in here! Mm -hmm. I'd like you to apologize to the lady, please. I'm sorry! I'm an amateur dentist. <laughs> It's getting real dark. I'm sorry. Get him out of there. Oh, don't mean to hurt anybody. There you go. There you Whoa. go. Shall we? Yeah. Should have kicked him in the balls a little bit. You're dead. Oh yeah. Is he gonna chase him with the car? Come on, man. I'm gonna show you. Time for a golf lesson. A little five wood. In the balls. In the balls. I appreciate the confession to you. Oh, good. Okay. Well, don't you think he loves you? If he does, he'd never say it. I think he'd make a wonderful husband and father. Uh, he's He really has changed. Wow. He's responsible and energetic, and energetic honest, and forthright. I Did see. Did he by any chance put you up to this? Oh, certainly not. <clears throat> Cook all. So am I. Clunk him. Whoa, that flash of red, yeah. <laughs> Hi, honey. By the way, I have told you I loved you. It was for shocks, remember? <laughs> She'll forgive him. Isn't so bad, is it? You know, we should have done this a long time ago, something like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, run. <laughs> what are we doing? Your mother, you see, and your sister. They have to sort things out, so we're gonna be very quiet. And I should turn that just walk. But gonna kill me. <laughs> heart to heart. Just hug it out. It's gonna be real different. Heartwarming. I love you. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, 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 I see yeah. It the time, Yubi. Yubi. Did leave the house oh, a little geez. messy. We did try our best. We're going home. We're not dying. All right. Out loud. Nice guy, isn't he? Let's tell the neighbors. We're really sorry. You see what I put up with? Now they're buddies. Okay guys, that was Uncle Buck. I think that that movie is the perfect showcase of John Candy just being charismatic and lovable and funny and sweet and charming and just all of those things. It just, no matter what he's doing, he's doing it with that John Candy charm and you just can't help but love him. Even when he's like being hilarious and like threatening someone with a hatchet or like with a, whatever that is, a drill, you know, being intimidating, like he's still being charming and sweet and fun and funny. He just has a charm that can't be mad. I just, I'm so fond of him. I want to see more of his movies. I don't know how many movies he's done. I've watched a couple now that he's been in, but I would like to see more. Let me know what other John Candy movies we should check out, because I really would like to see more of his work. I just think he's so likable. He's such, he seems like he was such a cool dude. I thought especially his scenes with the kids were really funny. Those kids were really charming too, and you know, I'm not surprised that Macaulay Culkin then went on to be given a movie all of his own. The kids were really sweet and, and funny, and charming too. I really like this movie too because of the complete like 80s-ness of it. The hair, the costumes, this music, the teenagers looking all 80s teenagery. I loved it. I love that. Movies are such a cool way to sort of get a glimpse of a point in time. Man, the 80s, there were some crazy, crazy fashions especially going on and I, I love, I love 80s fashion. I think it's so fun. There was some really funny moments in this. I mean, flipping that giant pancake, hello. That's awesome. It sort of sticks with the John Hughes movies that I've seen too. He seems to 
like a, a sort of coming of age, but this one is about a guy that's sort of stuck in adolescence and doesn't want to grow up and commit to things and all of that. So, you know, he had to kind of come to terms with, he's a grown up now, it's time to settle down and, you know, you would be a good dad and all that stuff. So it seems like it's a bit more of a maturing of that sort of idea that I've seen in other John Hughes movies like Breakfast Club and Ferris. So yeah, this one was good. Let me know if there are more John Hughes we should check out, more John Candy, more Macaulay Culkin. Did he do any other movies as a kid besides Home Alone and this? I would love to see more kid Macaulay Culkin. This one was really fun and thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too and I will see you next time. Bye guys.